Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Bedrock Let's Play. Survival Let's Play. I've already screwed the intro up, but I'm going to roll with it just this one time because... Yeah. Anywho, since the last episode, I've done some off-camera work in the Nether Fortress. And actually on that, there's something very interesting. I also came back and brewed up a ton more fire res potions. What we don't use in today's episode, we'll use in the netherite. When we're mining for netherite on stream. Which I might do the day this episode comes out. But yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. I gotta get the episodes done for this next week, which... I think they're all but done. Whoa. Yeah, I need to get this situation sorted out because I'm kind of tired of coming through this and they're being drowned in here every single time. <clears throat> that gets old really fast. But anywho, I'm just going to get a few of these out and have them just chilling in the inventory. Once again, swap that out so it's on the hot bar. Yeah. So I've done some work on the fortress to make it to, um, <clears throat> more spawnable, I guess. Oh, that's rotten flesh. But yeah, whenever... I need to, uh, fix the portal sometime so we don't keep coming through and there being drowns in here because that or anything in here rather or alternatively I could just light up the waterway which I'm also inclined to doing but eh. I'd either need sea pickles or I think you can place lanterns underwater I'm not sure about that actually can you place lanterns underwater I mean, I don't know why you couldn't, but... Yeah, I'd need, either need sea, a ton of sea pickles, lanterns... Well, there's glowstone or shroom lights too, I guess, but... <clears throat> now I'm curious about the lantern thing. I also don't know if the uh, underwater mob spawning rules or drown spawning rules applies or obeys the uh, light level rule that the rest of the mobs obey now because after 1.18 I think was when the mob spawning rules changed to where it had to be light level zero for them to spawn well underground anyways it's never going to be light level zero at night on the surface so there's that now, with any luck, when I open this, there shouldn't be anything up here because I lit it up. Nor in this little room right here. Eh. No. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, basically today's goal is to just get as many Wither Skeleton Skulls as we possibly can. Because I want to do the weather. I want to fight the weather. And I, I want to fight it a bunch of times at once. Yeah, like I said. I knew this would be an issue with this room. But I didn't have to deal with it. Because I uh, may have put the game into peaceful and did it that way. But yeah, while I was digging this out, I actually found something interesting. I have excellent luck with finding ancient debris in places it simply should not be. Just to prove that that is... This is legit. I can earn achievements in this world. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see if those... Oh, God. This was not what I imagined when I built this room. Oh, magma cubes suck. And this is literally their biome. Why are there so many blazes? Yeah, why are there so many blazes? I actually... Oh, there we go. That's nine, so that's three withers. Cause I wanna wanna have the uh, sextuple beacon. Plus, I want two or three to just have kicking around for like a mining beacon or something. What a mess. Would you blazes please disappear? You're taking up you're taking up the mob cap. Holy crap. You know what? I'm glad I built this over here. If there's any of those guys that are smaller, they can get through, and that's going to be a problem. So, I'm just going to craft a few stone shovels. I'm just going to trap a few of these real big guys. Get in the boat. Good magma cube. My hope... My hope with trapping these being that, really, my hope with trapping these guys being that if I get enough of them to take up that mob, that part of the mob cap, that maybe there won't be such a big problem. Or maybe I've just massively wasted my time with this fortress, and I should have actually went to the other one. How much time do I got left on that? Two minutes. Okay, it looks like the boat plan is working out to an extent. Don't you dare set those boats on fire. Yeah, it looks like the plan of just simply putting them in boats is working. 
to some degree of success. Um, any wither skeletons? Yes. Still only at nine skulls. What happened to the... I guess it despawned. I guess one strategy would be running out of this room. And then running back. Ooh. I would much rather deal with baby zombies than magma cubes. I never thought I would say that. Because I hate baby zombies, but... Oh. Oh. so annoying actually who thought it was a good idea to just have a biome dedicated to these I guess the saying is adapt and overcome. Is that a head? No. Uh... I don't really need blaze rods at the moment. Oh, I hear them. They're up there. This room isn't quite big enough yet for me to be at one side of it and spawn more. As I run back and forth through it. Oh, that's lucky. Come here, buddy. Seriously, did I not get a gas tear from that? Oh, keep an eye on the health, keep an eye on the health. And get this guy gone. I really need to eat. I guess one reason my sword probably isn't doing as much damage as I think it should is because one, it ain't sharp five. Two, it's not netherite. Ooh. Those two things probably impact the performance of it quite a bit. But yeah, two netherite just chilling in the ceiling. 
well, a two ancient debris. Not quite netherite. Oh god. I'm just gonna get rid of these boats. Because that plan did not work. Could you two not vertically? Could we get rid of vertical knockback, please? That's something I think Java got rid of a long while ago. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have hit that and made it split down. That was a massive lapse in judgment. I hear him. Why didn't I just do that? Instead of throwing it where I've got to walk. So that's 10 so far. That's so much XP. That's 50 levels. Yep, and there's all the netherrack. I almost said netherite. Oh, oh, come here. Get here before that big lava cube does. Another thing is, why are they so fast? Generally, things that are that big aren't fast. They're they're slow. Oh, of course. Oh, of course, you've blocked me in. Yeah, that's definitely going in notes for the future. I am never built... I'm never going to work with a fortress in one of these biomes again. Eh. Because it's bad enough in nether waste. <laughs> okay, how much? Two minutes. That's plenty. So, one more... Oh, God. Oh, there's only there's only one of you in here. I can deal with that. I can handle that. That much I'm used to. What I'm not used to is when there's five. When there gets to be five of them crowded up together, that I'm not used to it at all. Um, 11, so better than it could be. Wait. Well, that's just coincidence of the biome, I guess. Yep. Ironically, this seems like a very good place to get rid of the, uh, let's not get rid of the coal. Being able to farm coal seems kind of useful. Even though that's not inherently what I'm here for. Okay, that was not 20 blocks away from me. You spawned literally right there. Oh... Yeah, I might need to use the safe area for this one.
Oh, 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 I'm not covered. There we go. Also, one thing I've got to do is I've got to scout an area to fight the, to actually fight the thing. Um, just gonna run out of the room and forcibly despawn you guys. Are there any more? Because that certainly sounded like more than one, but I guess it was only just one. Whoa. That was loud. I might raise the roof in here more. That way we might be able to farm gas in here as well. But yeah. I've realized I don't actually need to farm magma cubes in any capacity at all. Because I can just go down in the strip mine. Or formally strip mine. And just mine out another two rows or so because there's a slime chunk down there. And as long as you have blaze rods, or blaze powder rather, you can just craft magma cream. Oh yeah, actually on magma cubes. That's it. That's literally it. I just need to name some frogs. I just need to name some frogs and bring them in here. I am hadn't thought of that until now, actually. This is actually incredibly useful. Uh, did I see a skull drop? Yes, I did. Haha. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, you're still here? If you're going to knock me some way, somewhere, knock me behind you. Holy crap. So that doesn't happen in future. spawned this round any out here possibly nope it's funny how the safest place in here at the moment is out in the open just open nether let that sink in for a minute Stop being good at dodging. Now, next time he locks onto me, he's just going to have a fireball ready. Okay, how much have we got? Three minutes. If I could get two Wither Skeleton Skulls out of all of you that were spawned, that would be excellent. Well, didn't even get one. That's unfortunate. Not today. Not today, Cube. Not today. Take those Blaze Rods. Is it me or is stuff lagging? Is 
That arrow seemed laggier, or seemed pretty laggy. Running away. But yeah, this is the slog. <laughs> to get all the stuff to fight the wither as many times as we'd like to. Which will probably be next episode. My luck right now doesn't seem to be too great. Only this was in the Soul Sand Valley. Ooh. Hey guys. You maybe want to fight or form a single file line? That seems like a great idea. By the way, this seems like a great strategy to spawn more in. Just run out here to the end and then wait a few minutes or a few seconds. Actually, we've just hit. Oh, nope. Oh. <sighs> Mr. Pigman, you got so lucky. Okay, I need to lure these guys back over this way to despawn them. Hey, would you look at that? Um, yeah, so this area is clear. Let's not drop the ender chest. That seems like a not good thing to do. Another good thing to come out of this is we're going to have tons of blaze rods. Oh. I mean, honestly, I don't really need the fire res. It's just really nice to have. Oh, weather skeleton, come here. There we go. Yes, they fell into the abyss. That's the best thing that's happened to me today. Well, aside from the amount of skulls I have collected so far... to uh, let's do that Get a few more of those in the inventory you can't be the only one down here yeah he's not I hear one ooh I am so glad they gave 
gold another use. By that I mean netherite. But at the same time, I question why they chose gold and not something else. Because after all, it is kind of... Oh. So there's where you guys were. But yeah, gold is kind of the weakest tool after all, so... I question why gold, but it's good that it has another use. Well... Aside from golden apples, I guess, because those are typically pretty useful. Man, I'm going to have bones for days after this. Okay, I'm going to go over here and check out here. Not eating food. Shoot the ghast. Ah. They're rare, so it's kind of worth it. Uh, no, you're not going to stun lock me there. Ooh. Why is everything going wrong all of a sudden? Uh, rockets. How? Wait, what? I just got withered midair. I'm pretty sure I killed the wither skeleton. Ooh, 14 weather scouting skulls. Fifteen now. I need to stop and do the math on that in a minute. Um Hey, let's just deposit the copious amounts of bones we have. Oh, God. Okay. No, don't. That was a lot of blazes, but I'll take the blazes over the magma cubes. Okay, I need to eat.
I'm glad he can't get through here. Come on. How much? Ooh. That's pretty rough. Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay, time to bust the bow out. I'm so glad regular skeletons can burn. Run, 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 run. Oh, don't you dare burn my skulls because they can and will. So I'm going to grab some netherrack out of that chest in a minute and go and put a um, row of blocks along the top of that uh, doorway over there. That way at least the big guys can't get through it. That's fine. Give, give me all the blaze rods. I don't really need them, but I will take them. Oh, there's so many weather skeletons in one area. And these guys, uh, I've noticed, tend to spawn like Endermen in groups of three or four. Which is kind of convenient knowledge. Alright, I don't need all these stone swords. I kind of wish that drop was a little bit more rare. I, and I suppose it probably is. It's just I've got looting three. Yeah, that'll do. There. Now if we get any of those big magma cubes like that, he can't get through here. That is a lot of blazes. That is so many blazes. Too many blazes run. I'm 
I'm so used to checking the potion effects on Java. Even though I haven't played Java in quite a while. Really? Knockback is kind of not playing in my favor right now. So I don't really want to knock these guys back because I want to... I want to kill them before the um, magma cubes can get to me. So I'm not really useful at the moment. Be gone with you. Uh... Two minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, nice. I didn't get withered that time. Here, why don't you hit one of these pigmen? shouldn't be relying on my bow too much so I kind of need that for when I actually do the weather fight this bow is actually quite overpowered speaking of the weather fight I actually need to get a sword prepared because I'd rather have a smite sword than my sharpness one for that so I've got some stuff I gotta do off camera it shouldn't It shouldn't take too many rolls with the enchanting table to get a smite. At very least, a smite four sword. Who knows? It's been a while since I used my weaponsmith. Maybe he has a smite sword. Ooh. I'm so glad that when nether bricks lit it doesn't burn forever like nether rack that would Ooh. Okay, that's... Can't check now, because... There's a blaze there, 19 skulls. I'm not sure how many I need. But... At very least, I'm pretty sure I have enough to do the big beacon. And I, I want to make... I want to be... Oh, God... This is so much worse. Ah. Yeah, note self check into resource pack that makes the uh, fire effect smaller. Yeah, I'm not dealing with these blazes. They can despawn. All right, probably shouldn't stand up there. Yeah, we got a lot of blaze rods. We're good for quite some time. And a lot of coal, too. Where? Um, one? Fine with me, that's 20. 
I'm just gonna go up here to my little safe room I've got. It's nice to know that these torches actually do prevent stuff from spawning. But, I'm actually gonna do the math real fast. Bust out Windows calculator. So, let's see. go for eight beacons so eight times three 24 so I need four more so yeah that's two mining beacons plus the big beacon that I'm gonna have at the base so that seems Easily doable, actually. This hasn't taken me very long at all. I don't know. It seems like it's... The drops are better on these on Bedrock than Java. Very minute observation, but... Ah, oh. he went too far away and no he didn't despawn it's fine with me I don't I, I, I guess I really can't complain about the blaze spawn because if it wasn't for them spawning like this when I went to the first fortress we wouldn't have been able to get the blaze rods to spawn or not spawn make the uh, eyes of ender because there was a bug that there was a bug in bedrock at that time that uh <laughs> basically the fortresses were spawning without blaze spawners like the room for it would be there it just no spawner which Thankfully, because the spawn rate's so high, it didn't really make a difference. <laughs> Just run around a little bit. And you'll get what you need. 21. So, three more. Oh. Oh. Why'd you push them off like that? Why would you do that? Oh, I'm not going to complain now. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about that because he dropped his skull. And the other one that fell off didn't, so... Let's just get rid of that, get rid of that. Kill that guy. Ooh. One more. Um, not out there at the moment. Up, oh, there's one. Drop your head. Are you it? Uh, he is not it. None that way. Let's go around the big guy. Oh. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come here. Oh, that's it. And we out of here. Yeah, we out of here. Um, 
Really? Had to try to follow me out, huh? Well, not that I can blame them. This place kind of sucks. Oh. <laughs> well, the good news is I have soul sand. Plenty of it, too, because uh, where the portal's at, the stuff's kind of plentiful. Not to mention that it spawns kind of like uh, how diorite veins do. Andesite, diorite, and uh, granite veins. It spawns like that under, well, where you mine for netherite. Y17, I think, is the best level to make the tunnel at. Something like that, I seem to remember. But, yeah. It spawns in veins down there, so even if I did need more, I've got that covered. But yeah, basically all it's left to do is off-camera make a few strength potions. And then I've just got to scout a place out to actually spawn them and fight them. Now I'm aware I could do it under the... Uh, I think doing it fight or doing it the way of uh, spawning it under the end portal still works. Well, under the thing in the end, I'm pretty sure that still works. But, uh, yeah, I've never tried that, and I'm not sure I want to. The first time I try that to be in this world, just because if it fails, it's gonna wreck the end. Oh yeah, before I go off and do something stupid like jump off the top of the mob farm, I'm going to put the elytra back on. Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. Through the portal. Hey, it's night. Let's go sleep in the bed. So yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it last episode. Um, I was going to get rid of that farm after I moved the potato field. But I decided to keep it and get rid of this one. Even though this one looked better, I want to uh, branch this path out that way. So it, there's a fork of it that goes by where the uh, spawner is. So yeah, that is my reason for doing that. I've got to be careful because I, I want to put the first piece of ancient debris in a, uh, in a museum. So yeah, also I got to go end raiding sometime. I've actually had a thought. I know it's a painful one. Very painful one. But I actually want to try and bring two shulkers into the overworld. Because uh, you can breed them now. By getting them to fire their... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but the things that give you the levitation effect. If you get them to fire that into... Or one to fire that into another they duplicate essentially so yeah I'd like to bring two into the overworld at some point because uh, infinite shulker boxes sounds like a, a very nice thing to have gunpowder wait did I even pick up the gas tier after I flew down there for it if I didn't that's going to be so anticlimactic There's the Minecraft music. Okay, let's craft the rest of that into bottles. Probably not the best use for glass, but eh. 
Um, oh. Yeah, we're good for a while. Just put that right there. That'll definitely come in handy for when we're mining for ancient debris. If only they made a blast resistance potion. But yeah, we're pretty much geared to fight the wither. I mean, I could use this sword. But I feel like Smite would actually be better for the job. But, yeah, nonetheless, I feel like I've probably got enough I can end the episode here. Yeah. Is that just... Yeah, it's just XP. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Because, uh... That's a lot of progress. Next episode will be fighting the wither. Um, but before that, I've got to scout a place out that I particularly am not going to mind basically purposefully destroying. Because that's what's going to happen to it. Is it's going to be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, and with that, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Or stream. Could be a stream. I don't know. But yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Whatever that may be. Peace.